It's good to see you all here today. Um, first off, just to let you know, this lecture is recorded and will be available on the unit website along with the lecture handout. If you haven't already downloaded the, le the handout, it will be available after the lecture. We have also posted books contact information in the, the Zoom chat box. So if you have any questions after today's lecture, you can reach out to him. Um, I'd like to welcome our guest speaker today, Buck Buchanan. Buck was living outside of Arlington, Texas, but is now uh, recently moved to Salt Lake City, Utah. Buck is a very accomplished bridge player and has really gained recognition as an excellent bridge teacher. Buck was a nominee for the Teacher of the Year in 2019. Buck achieved his online teacher certification over the pandemic and is currently teaching bridge both on the Zoom platform and on BBO. He also writes a free weekly newsletter which offers class information and a hand of the week. Today's topic, responding to two note uh, Trump openers. So without further ado, here's Buck Buchanan. Uh, good morning, everybody, and and thank you for the um, uh, the very nice introduction. Um, to know Trump is a an opening bid that doesn't come up very often, and so bidding structures and know how around to know Trump isn't something that a lot of us spend a lot of time on, and in fact. If you're not planning on playing then in the Vanderbilt with your partner sometime soon, some of the stuff that you can do over to no Trump isn't worth the memory work. And I say that partly um, uh, from the point of view of where it's worth your while to put your, your um, concentration and also from the point of view of an old guy who has less and less of that available. Um, so I've, I've got a bidding structure for uh, intermediate players uh, and one for advanced players. They're not very different. With uh, most of my partners, I play the intermediate structure and with a couple now I play the advanced. You'll find when I go through this that most of the stuff that I have shown here are the same things that you use over a one no Trump opener, but the details of them can be very different. Uh, so I'm gonna go through this, um, the structure real fast and then come back and um, do some commenting on some of the elements. And please jump in and stop me at any time anywhere in this thing, I'm, I'm happy to uh, slow down and, and answer questions. Um, if, if something occurs to somebody to ask, I'm sure it'll occur to, uh, will have occurred to a lot of people. So jump right in. So two no Trump bids, and I'm including in this, the standard two no Trumps, an opening bid of 20, 21 uh, points balanced or actually semi-balanced. But it also applies to any two no Trump rebid that shows 22 or more points. However, you get there two clubs opener, uh, two diamonds waiting bid if that's what you play, two no Trump showing uh, some range uh, uh, that starts at 22 and goes on up. <clears throat> All those bids are covered here. Uh, Moving up from two no Trump, the responses would be uh, for me uh, on the intermediate structure, uh, Puppet Stamen. And I'm gonna have a lot to say about five card majors. Uh, Jacoby transfers, look, everybody plays Jacoby transfers and they're not very much different over two no than over one no, but there are some differences. Uh, Three spades is a special relay to three no Trump. I'll have a lot of stuff to say about that. Smolin y'all play over one no Trump and it's a useful 
um, gadget for finding major suit fits when responder is 5-4 in the majors, you can do exactly the same thing over 2 Trump, but the details of Smolin are completely different. Gerber, um, oh, honestly, um, you'll probably have more to say about Gerber to me than I have to say to you, but I'm not a Gerber fan. And I think it can be improved when we feel compelled to use it by, by playing 1430 Gerber. I'll say more about that. Texas transfers, same as over one, no Trump. And four now is the uh, ubiquitous uh, quantitative slam invitation. <clears throat> On the advanced structure, there's only a couple of things that are different. Instead of the three spades relay to three no Trump, we uh, sign off in three no by going through puppet statement. And for those of you who play, say, four suit transfers over one no Trump openers, you already do that. You use two clubs statement to sign, to um, uh, get to a, a two no invitational bid. Uh, so we we use the uh, sign off in three no trump. Uh, we use puppet to get to a sign off in three no, and with three spades we create a, a partner. What's your best minor kind of bid? That's the structure. Um, now I want to talk about it. Uh, but is is there any questions at this point? I'm I'm going to talk about almost everything uh, on this. So, list. did you have a did you have a list to show? I'm not seeing it on the screen, Buck. Um, was that James? Yeah, that's that's me. Oh, thank you. I had them all set up and then forgot to do it, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, share the screen. Um, okay, let's see. Those are my hands. Yeah, hold, hold on, somebody's trying to ask a question, but just one second till I get to, uh, there's the discussion. Okay, somebody uh, have a question? Hi, uh, this is Bob Steinel. I was wondering if you're willing to open Tuno with uh, Stiff Honor, like the Ace, King, Queen, like you can do with One No Trump. Uh, matter of fact, yes. Um, here's a hand that came up in a club game yesterday. Look at the south hand. Yep. I think that's a great two no opener. Okay, thank you. Yeah, boy, I didn't didn't expect to have to show that so soon. Great question. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, when I said two no openers are often semi balanced. Um, Two no Trump hands have so many high cards that I have absolutely no reservations about opening two no with stiff aces and kings. I've never done it with a stiff queen. I do it much more with two no than one no. All right, discussion time. Um, I think, I strongly think that two no openers ought to include five card majors. <clears throat> if the thing about two no that's different from one no is you've got 20 points in your hand, your partner might have four or even three and that's enough for game. If you've got the magic cards, that's enough for game. So you have to um, take some pushes in certain places to be able to get to those um, uh, to the low hanging fruit where where game is going to make but you can't bid it if you start with one of a major so if you don't allow yourself to open two no with a five card major too many of your options are going to go pass 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 when game is cold i got a couple of hands that illustrate that uh one and two on this um you're going to be able to download this. Um, uh, Linda and James are going to going to put this up on the website, but you're going to be able to download this thing. Uh, so look at the north hand on number one. If your partner opens a spade, you're not going to say anything. The auction's going to get passed out, but the hand is cold for four hearts. On number two, 
when your partner opens a heart, uh, I wouldn't say anything to that. There, there are those who think you have to respond with uh, uh, an ace. Uh, I'm, I'm not one of them. But if you open a heart there, you might get passed out when uh, a three no game is cold on that hand. So I think you got to open two no in hands containing five card majors. If you do, you got to play puppet. I consider it mandatory. Um, there's no way you would want to open two no with a five card major and not be able to find a five three major suit fit. So uh, I'm a big puppet fan. Uh, uh, and in my classes, I make a big deal about, listen, your partner's open with two no, and if you've got a three card major, you gotta use puppet. Uh, I should say a three card major and a roughing value. You gotta use puppet um, to find that five three major suit fit. You all have heard, I'm sure many times that with the same number of high card points, you tend to be able to make one more trick when you're playing in a 5-3 or 4-4 fit than in no trump. Okay, uh, I um, listen, you know, there's people who don't open with five card majors. There's people who do, but don't play puppet. I don't understand it. One of the finest teachers in Texas doesn't play puppet at all. Uh, and I don't know how that works, but um, I'm a big five card major <clears throat> holder with no trump openings and a big puppet player. Um, Jacoby transfers, everybody uses them. Uh, <clears throat> the difference over a two no opener is I think openers should super accept far more often than you do over a one no trump opener. And the reason is that there's hands you can just look at and say, I'm willing to try for 10 tricks opposite any hand with a five card major suit. <clears throat> and I have a couple of examples. You can look at them um, when, when the hands get posted. Uh, let's see, that's not it. Um, oh, three and four are uh, examples of puppet. I didn't go through them. Uh, if anybody would like me to uh, just uh, um, say so or put something in the chat. <clears throat> Five is a good example of a super accept. If you look at the South hand, that's an easy two no opener. And when your partner transfers you to spades, I think that's a super accept. I'd like to try for 10 tricks with that hand, having nothing, facing nothing more than Jack fifth in spades. I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but <clears throat> that's a hand where your partner North might be so weak that he would drop you in three spades when you're making four all day long. Number six, another hand uh, that's a super accept to me. Your partner tries to transfer you to hearts. And again, you've got a huge source of tricks in that hand with the club suit. You've got aces and kings. Super accepts, in my opinion, are common. And, and I should say, notice I'm doing it all the time with just three trumps. Okay, you already know five, three fit. Your partner might drop you when game is cold. So super accepts, I think, should be common with Jacoby transfers. <clears throat> Buck, so, um, yes. there's some people that would like you to go over puppet with them. Okay, great. Thanks for speaking up, folks. Uh, let me go back to the hands. So <clears throat> many of you already will be playing puppet over one no trump and over two no trump, three clubs puppet is exactly the same. Now it says this, um, partner, I'm asking about both a five card major and a four card major. 
<clears throat> if you have a five card major, you bid it. So the auction would go two no by me, the strong hand, three clubs by you, your statement, your puppet statement inquiry. And if I bid three hearts or three spades, I have a five card suit and you deal with it. You, you raise me, you bid three no, whatever. If I have a four card suit, I bid three diamonds. And this is the tricky part. I bid three diamonds showing one or both four card suits and you bid the suit you don't have. Uh, let's see, I have that in hand number four. Uh, can you all see that? I think you can. Bob and Joe, I can see your faces nod if you can see that. Hand number four. Okay, we great. We can see it. Yeah. We can see it. Um, South bids a strong no trump. North does uh, a puppet three clubs. South has a four card spade suit and says three diamond. Partner, I have one or both four card majors. North has four spades and so bids the other major, keeping the transfer effect alive. North says three hearts and South knows that means spades and bids three spades. North raises to game. <clears throat> In that auction, there's another feature that's very, very important uh, over to no Trump and in a lot of other auctions. Anybody catch it? The three spades bid means what? It means it I means, have four of those. Oh, absolutely. And what else? It means I've got a strong hand. Fast arrival, guys. You're in a game forcing situation. South can bid either three spades or four spades. Four says, I'm a minimum, but I got four spades. Three spades says, I'm in the hunt for slam. What do you got? And of course, North isn't interested with that hand. Okay. Um, Let's see, I, I think I'll stop there um, with the puppet and go back to uh, transfers. And if you still have questions about uh, puppet, please uh, let somebody know and we'll come back to them as time permits. But thanks for asking. So what I wanna say uh, about transfers, <clears throat> I said Texas transfers are identical over two no uh, to what they are over one no, but there's a, a feature that not everybody knows. And that is Texas transfers are not just for sign off. They are for not just weak hands where you wanna put partner in game, but they're also for strong hands where you wanna do some, some key card asking. So what you do is transfer your partner to four of the major. And if you have the weak hand, you pass, you sign off. But if you have the strong hand, then any bid you make after your partner bids four of a major is a key card asking bid. So uh, two no trump, four hearts, transfer to spades, four spades accepting the transfer for no Trump is now regular key card Blackwood. All you've done is established Trump's making your partner declare and taking charge of the hand with the key card ask. Or for those who play it, any five level bid is exclusion. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about exclusion, but I am, I am gonna say any bid you make after transferring partner with a Texas transfer at the four level is a key card asking bid. What's next? Um, Gerber, um, I'm, I'm gonna take a second here and climb up on my soapbox folks. 
Um, Gerber is used all the time by a lot of players. And I hope I won't be offending too many players by saying I think Gerber is a safety net, a safety blanket that we keep from our early days of learning bridge. Um, check for aces, check for key cards. But with Gerber, I think we rush to that check back system before we even know if we've got the goods for slam. We can find out if we have plenty of generals for the slam battle, but we can't figure out or haven't figured out yet if we have enough soldiers. So I only use Gerber over directly over the no Trump opening bid. I don't use it in any other auction. Uh, and, and for me, um, I don't think I use Gerber more than once or twice a year. I think I, I'm of the opinion strongly that except for two no Trump four clubs, when four clubs is bid in, a, in an auction that any time after that, if four clubs is bid in an auction that starts with two no Trump, it should be a natural bid unless it's unless it's agreed upon to be something else. I think a second suit for clubs uh, is more valuable than Gerber. That's me. Um, I don't think uh, anybody's gonna run out and scratch Gerber off their cards, but I do want you to think uh, a, a little more about the value of four clubs, second suit being a natural bid in two no auctions. I heard some mumbling. Is that a question that I'm not picking up? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me go back to the um, structure. Can I ask you a question, Buck? Sure. If I say four clubs over your two no Trump, you mentioned they're using 1430. I thought I saw an article by Cohen once in the magazine, which basically said, use the original Gerber so you avoid the possibility of losing the ace king in one suit if you use key card Gerber. Um, gosh, I don't know what he would have meant by that. Um, key, uh, Gerber, uh, um, I, should have, I should have explained the 1430. Gerber, doesn't ask in in my Gerber structure it asks for only aces, and so oh, what so key, king of clubs doesn't isn't included when you're going to do it if you're going to use it over two no trump. Uh, say again. Then the king of clubs is excluded if you're going to do it that way. Uh, why the king of clubs, Bob? Just because you well, said four clubs. If you're going to use key card, why not just make it original Gerber as opposed to key card? Are you using the term key card. Yeah, it, the, it can be confusing. The 1430 Gerber also is known as Super Gerber and Mini Max Gerber, uh, for those of you who have seen or see different names. But what it says is <clears throat> standard Gerber is of. Uh, Oh, I've got the responses wrong. I, I apologize, guys. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to change this and, and repost it, Linda, if we can do that. The responses should be four diamonds equals one, four hearts equals zero or three, four spades, then four no trump. Raise every one of those responses by one. I have just screwed up. And so I'm extra glad for your questions, Bob. But Gerber always asks for aces. So standard Gerber is four diamonds is zero, four hearts is one, four spades is two, and so on. Right. Uh, 1430 Gerber is four diamonds is one or four aces. 
for hearts is zero or three, it's, a, it's assumed that you can tell the difference or find out the difference. And then the added bonus is four spades is two aces, but with a minimum hand, no slam interest. And four spades is two with a maximum. Yes, I do have slam interest. Okay. It combines the benefits of old fashioned Gerber, which just tells you aces with the quantitative four no, which asks you if you have a maximum. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so Gerber can be yeah. useful if, for instance, um, between you and partner, you have um, uh, 36 high card points and you just want to check to make sure you're not missing an ace. Or if you have a, uh, a longish suit and you need a couple of controls from partner, together with some um, beefy points or something. Um, but I think we can get, how often, however often we use Gerber, I think we can get more mileage out of it by playing uh, 1430 or Super Gerber or Minimax Gerber. That cover it, Bob? Oh, that's fine. Thank you very much. Glad you asked. Thank you. Bob, um, I I have a question. Yeah. The um, you know, you said using puppet over two no trump. Would you use puppet over one no trump? Would Absolutely, you? but okay. at the three clubs level. Oh yes, and, and that's so, if you have only game going values, right? Game going or better. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you get at the at the one no trump level. You you can tend to lose five card suits if you can't force the game as responder. But if you can, then three clubs is the puppet bid. And that's alertable. Two no three clubs is not alertable. Uh, and uh, I see in my, my structure I have where it's uh, announceable or alertable. Okay, good enough. So let me talk now about this, um, about Smolin. Y'all play Smolin over uh, one no Trump um, openers. I think it's fairly common among uh, um, intermediate and even um, advancing beginners. If you've got as responder five, four in the majors, you start with um, two clubs stamen. And if your partner names a major, you're, you're uh, all set. If partner doesn't, you jump to the three level in your shorter major, the four card suit. And if your partner has a five, three fit in the other bits game in that major. We can accomplish exactly the same thing over two no openers, but it's far, far different. The way it would work is that if you have five hearts and four spades, you transfer to hearts and then bid three spades. Your partner can bid three no or can then bid either major. If you have five spades and four hearts, you have to go full artificial with that one and bid three no. So two no, three no would say I have five spades and four hearts. It took me several um, mistakes um, not remembering that bid uh, before I finally got it right. Um, and I was just insulted to death when uh, I played with an expert partner one day and he bid two no, I bid three no, and he figured at the table that I'd forgotten and passed. And he was right. Um, anyway, um, it'll happen if, if you decide to play Smolin in this way. It is very useful. Uh, and in fact, that hand that I showed um, uh, Bob earlier, uh, this one, look at the North hand. That's just the perfect Smolin hand. 
five spades, four hearts, so the auction goes two no, and then three no by north, and south takes the deck. There's more to the hand than I just said. Uh, I don't want to go into it right now, but that's a perfect small in hand for north. Okay, Smolin. Um, and then I want to um, Oh, um, I talked about um, using Gerber less and making four of a minor um, a natural bid. So uh, and, and this would be just like um, after Jacoby transfers over one no or um, <clears throat> failed uh, stamen inquiries over one no. After Puppet, four of a minor would show a five card suit and after Kobe transfer, it would show a four card suit. We do it that way because Puppet is generally centered around looking for four, four. Uh, um, if the Puppet in, in the responder invoking Puppet had a five card major, the uh, auction would generally start with a transfer. So we expect a longer minor suit over a Jacoby transfer, you've already shown a five card suit. So we're only expecting a four. In both cases, uh, for people who like memory devices, the, the suit lengths total nine, uh, five in the transfer suit and four in the, uh, the second suit minor and so on. Um, and I think I put in a hand that illustrates that uh, structure. Where's my hands? hands? Or maybe not. Oh yeah, uh, number nine. Um, I don't need to tell you the numbers because you can only see it on my screen. Um, sorry, I didn't get these uh, posted earlier. So <clears throat> two no by south, north bids three clubs looking for that uh, magic four, four spade fit. <clears throat> South says three diamonds. Yes, I have one or both majors. North bids three hearts saying spades. South bids three, no. Now North bids four clubs. Basically saying partner, I have a four card spade suit. Sorry, we didn't have a match there. But I also have a five card club suit. When you bid four of a minor by passing three no, you have to have at least mild slam interest. So South knows North has four spades, five clubs and slam interest and South jumps to the six club slam. And it's cold, okay. Good use of four clubs being a natural bid on a hand like that. So I encourage that. Um, back to the discussion now. Um, I wanna spend the rest of the time on this uh, funny sounding three spades bid. <clears throat> Notice we used two no three no for Smolin to show a five card spade suit with four hearts. So we have to have a way of signing off in three no, and that's three spades. On the intermediate structure of bids, two no, uh, three spades is just a relay to three no. Goes two no, three spades, three no, bam. It can be passed to play, and that's the most common outcome for three spades relaying to three no, but it also can usher in a system for handling minor suits that can be as elaborate as you want it to be. 
with a long suit and a week, a, a long minor suit and a weekend, <clears throat> responder can, no, oh, this is, uh, when three spades is just the relay, opener bids three no trump. Uh, so responder can now bid a minor suit to play. The discussion here is uh, based on the uh, advanced outline. Sorry, it's a little misleading. <clears throat> so over three no trump, responder can bid four of a minor to play. And I got a hand uh, that illustrates that. Let me see where that is. I love you. It's number eight. So North opens two no Trump. South relays to with uh, uses three spades to relay to three no Trump and then bids four diamonds. Looks like a safe place for South to play rather than leave uh, North in the no Trump contract. And that gets passed. There's another thing you can do. Once in a while, you're going to have an out of sight minor suit. <clears throat> and you can use four hearts and four spades as key card asking bids in the minors. Um, turns out to be very useful. Uh, and I've, I meet more and more players that are already, uh, uh, and I play in the Dallas area, guys, um, more and more players that are doing this. And I don't know if, if, um, if that's caught on in other areas, but let's give uh, an, an example. Um, and where have I got one? 10, 11, and 12. Oh, number 12. <clears throat> North opens to no Trump. Uh, that's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? And South has a decision to make. Uh, should I look for a 5-3 spade fit or should I take charge of this hand and uh, uh, go after clubs? You could show the clubs as a natural bid after trying uh, using puppet for a five three spade fit, but you can't take charge in clubs. So <clears throat> if I were holding the south hand, I'd bid three spades relaying my partner to um, three no, and then bid four hearts, key card asking in hearts. And when my partner shows all five key cards, uh, then I can bid seven clubs. Give up minor wood by showing your suit uh, above three no trump, but you get it back by being able to bid four hearts and four spades as key card bids. And folks, having to bid four no as black wood for a minor suit is awful uh, because so many of the responses put you, even the negative ones, put you past your game. Okay, um, or you can transfer, you can relay your partner to three no, and you can bid five of a minor. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I have uh, another hand. I think it was 11. <clears throat> no, it was, uh, okay, here's, um, <clears throat> In the advanced outline, three spades is, uh, as I said earlier, not just a relay to three no trump, but it is the best minor. Asks opener, uh, asks, uh, opener for his or her best minor. So 11 illustrates how that would work. 
to know three spades by north, what's your best minor partner? South bids four clubs. North with an interesting but not necessarily slam going hand bids five clubs. And now South's hand gets really, really good looking and South bids six clubs. Uh, so three spades, if you if you've got the uh, the head and the stomach for the work it takes to memorize some of this stuff can be very, very useful for uh, getting to slams. So on um, the book on that one, if um, if the uh, the responder to the three spades does not have an interest in a minor suit, he would just bid three no trump. No, um, there's always going to be a three card minor suit. Uh, and that should be bid um, in, in response to the, uh, to the uh, three no, to the inquiry, to the three spades inquiry, excuse me. So the, the three spade, two no trump, three spades is a relay to three no, but it also stands for an interest in uh, the minor suit. The, uh, in the intermediate uh, structure of bids, I used three spades just as a relay. Okay, thank you. Okay, in now I get it. In the one, it changes roles and becomes uh, uh, an inquiry partner, what's your best minor? Got you. Okay, thanks for clearing that up. And okay. I'm glad you asked. Um, and when three spades is used as better minor, you still get the sign off value. <clears throat> if partner's better minor is clubs, she bids it. If partner's better minor is diamonds, then she responds three no trump. Oh. So the partner will still be able to sign off in four clubs. Gotcha. Takes a little memory work. Um, yes. and, and as I said earlier, because two no Trump openers are so rare, you may not want to put the, that kind of effort in that would be required for that. But when it comes up, it's just big time useful. Um, okay, let me just check my um, discussion list. Oh, yeah, one more thing. <clears throat> Suppose you're playing the intermediate schedule. And um, I'm going to throw one more thing at you here. Uh, you use three spades to relay your partner to three no. And then you bid, say, four hearts, uh, key card for clubs. Well, some days, um, the bridge gods aren't smiling and your partner, the opener has a worthless doubleton in your club suit. That's a, that's a response of four no. It says, partner, I'm departing from your key card ask and bidding four no so we can get out of this auction alive with our skin intact. Uh, and my ladder of responses simply just doesn't count four no. So um, I don't, I don't think I put a hand in with that, but <clears throat> if the auction goes two no, three spades relay to three no, then three no, then four hearts, four spades would show if you're playing 1430, four spades would show one or four, four no isn't counted, five clubs would show zero or three, if you get the idea. <clears throat> so, um, those are the things that you have an opportunity to do. Pick and choose, guys. Two no Trump bids are rare, uh, and your time, as limited as it tends to be for most of us, um, uh, is better spent on other auctions than two no. But if you have the stomach for it, if you have the time, um, these things are well worthwhile because... Um, getting to your slams, getting to your minor suit games when you don't have a major stopped or finding the right major suit fit, um, <clears throat> not only gets you good results at 
the bridge table, but it leaves you feeling less frustrated when you've picked up your um, 120 point hand of the week and didn't get to the right contract. Okay, big dividends, a lot of effort. It doesn't come up often, but here you are, here's some things you can do. Um, let's see, given, given the schedule I was told, I think I'm gonna stop right here and say, um, are, there, are there questions I can um, answer? Um, Buck, Eleanor did have a question. Eleanor, do you want to go ahead and unmute yourself and ask Buck your question? No, I, I was just saying, how do you get to a normal three no Trump from two no Trump if you, you know, if you don't want it to mean that you have spades? I mean, that was confusing. Sure. Um, only a low intermediate, so. Eleanor, that's the bit I said I forgot a few times before I got it right. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Uh, but the, the bid would go, um, to no Trump by the strong hand. And if you want to, if you're a responder and you want to put your partner in three no. Right. And you're playing the intermediate table of bids that I, that I gave you, it would go three spades, relay to three no and your partner would simply bid three no and you'd pass. Okay, so, and if it you, want, be simpler, you, you want to go on after that, then you continue with the minor thing. But if you want to leave him in three no, just say three spades. Perfect, you got it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? All right, Linda, we might be done. Right. Good. Well, thank you, Buck, so much. That was great information. Uh, a lot of food for thought there. I'll probably be watching this video again just to uh, have it sink in a little further. Also, like uh, Buck said, he's going to revise the discussion sheet for the um, for that one area about Gerber, and uh, and we'll have the corrected one on the website for everybody to download. I'm going to uh, revise that uh, right this minute as soon as we end and uh, send you an email with it and the hand handout. Okay, great. So everybody, um, again, a Buck's contact information is on the chat box. So if you have any further questions for him, he's happy to address those um, for you. And we sure appreciate this, Buck. Thank you for taking the time I, out to do this. My pleasure. Thanks. Uh, and good to see some of you folks again. You too.